Hi, my name is Sean Walker. I'm a Principal Product Success Architect and part of the Ranger team here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Reclaim Asset Flow, specifically the SAM Reclamation Tasks. So on the agenda today, we're just going to briefly talk about the Reclaim Asset Flow, and then I'm going to jump into a demo and walk you through the Reclaim Asset Flow. So when an employee leaves an organization or they move to a different role or for whatever the reason, reclaiming those assets that were assigned to them is really hard to do and often takes a lot of coordination between HR and an asset manager to make sure they're successful. The SAM offboarding process really helps you uh, return all the software licenses assigned to the employee. Um, and it also will look and take care of removing all the software installations um, from the device and any user or device allocations. And then it can even get into things like SSO, SAP, and kind of other Citrix provided, uh, sorry, subscriptions and do the revocation for those as well. So the options you're going to see in the reclaim flow is going to vary depending on the instance you have. So the tasks that get generated are dependent based off whether you have um, just ham or whether you have just SAM or you have both ham and SAM. Um, since this flow is both a ham and SAM flow, whatever you subscribe to uh, will present different options for you. So in today's demo that I'm going to hop into next, it's going to be SAM only. So the task that would be generated with ham will not be visible in the demo. So now I'll jump into a Washington DC instance and uh, show you the reclaim asset flow. Okay, so I'm logged into a Washington instance of ServiceNow with software asset management only installed. It's important to note that this instance only has SAM. It does not have HAM installed. It only has the base asset management installed. So what I'm going to do today is take you through the uh, re re sorry, reclaim asset flow and I'll show you all the different tasks and the different steps that happen automatically when only SAM is installed. So today we're going to be um, triggering the reclaim request for uh, Corrine Cowan. And I do happen to know already that Corrine has one of the entitlements. Now you don't really have to do this step. I just wanted to show you um, the different kind of allocations that Kareen may have and, and just show you that she does in fact have one. So we've got this Adobe Systems Firework and if we look under the user allocations we can see that Kareen does in fact have a user subscription for this Adobe System Firework. So part of the reclaim flow will actually remove this subscription. Um, and there's also a device-based subscription on Kareem's machine. So I'm just going to quickly jump into the asset workspace again. It's not the ham workspace. It's the asset workspace with base asset management. And I'm just going to quickly show you that this device um, does, in fact, have um, a device-based allocation as well. So the reclamation flow is going to remove this device-based allocation. So you can see here this particular device has um, Visio 2016 Professional installed on it. Uh, one of the other things I can quickly show you is just come into the CI and we can see that it does in fact have software installation records as well. So again, the reclaim flow will remove the user allocations, the device allocations, and the software installations associated with this particular device. So this is a really big advantage of using the software reclamation, or sorry, the reclaim asset flow when you have SAM installed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and I'm actually going to go to the service catalog and I'm going to actually put in the um, reclaim for Kareen's device. So Kareen has decided to leave the company today. And so we are going to reclaim her asset. So again, it's the same um, 
service catalog item, same flow, whether you have ham installed or whether you have SAM installed or whether you have both installed. So again, remember this demo is with SAM only. So we are gonna go through and we are going to, um, and again, for those of you not familiar with the reclaim flow, um, you can use it as part of your offboarding process for employees. You can also use it as part of, um, a lot of times in the ham space, you might wanna be as an asset manager and reclaim specific devices as maybe part of a refresh program or something like that. Um, and so you can also do it as a manager to reclaim. So managers can reclaim for only their users. Asset managers can reclaim for anybody. And HR can reclaim for anybody. And you could actually trigger it as a user yourself and reclaim your specific devices. Um, but in this case, I'm going to trigger it as HR and we are gonna trigger it for Kareem Cowan because she has left the company. So we are going to actually choose the employee separation. And when you choose employee separation, it's going to select all of the assets assigned to Kareem. Um, you could also individually pick which asset you want to reclaim by clicking on the assets button and it's going to filter what has what's assigned to Kareem and allow you, if she had multiple devices, you could pick just one. But in this case, we're gonna do the employee separation and you see what happens, it automatically populates all of the assets, both consumable and hardware assets. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna pick the reclaim date of today because she's told us today she's leaving today. And I'm gonna choose, again, the reclamation flow allows you to track shipments um, of people having to return. So if she was a remote employee and needed to ship us to the devices, you can track it that way whether it's picking up, whether we need to schedule a pickup for her or whether she's gonna be dropping it off. And we're gonna just say drop off because she's in one of the offices. So she's just gonna go hand it in. So we can just say uh, employee is leaving the company today and we can hit submit. And that's, a, that's all you have to do to trigger the reclamation request. Now it's automatically gonna open up the, re, the asset reclamation request for you. Uh, one of the important things to know is you can't actually access the reclamation request from the software asset workspace. Um, reclamation requests can be found under the inventory module. And you can see here asset reclaim, and you can see your asset reclamation requests. So we can see here, there is the asset reclamation request that was created for Kareem. So you can have these automatically assigned to specific people to handle. So if we take a look at the reclamation request, we can see automatically that software asset reclamation lines have been created. So the first one is pending user action. It's actually the device reclamation um, part of the, the flow. So we're gonna go into that particular one. And if you had ham installed this part, there would be a bunch more tasks here, but since there's not ham is not installed in this instance, um, you're gonna to have to actually go through and receive and evaluate and update the asset manually. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump in, go jump back over to my, my hardware asset estate here and I'm actually going to reclaim the device manually. So I wanna make sure that, yeah, she's left. So it's going in stock. It is going um, pending repair because we gotta take a look and do an evaluation and it's gonna be in the San Diego stock room. So basically what this is, is Kareen's dropped this off. I'm the, I'm the technician who's received this. I'm gonna go in and make this update to this device so we know where it is. And I'm gonna save this. And so now her asset is back in our possession. And I can come back in to the software asset reclamation task and I can say, okay, uh, reclaimed the asset and updated the state. Obviously you'd wanna basically make sure your assignment group and assigned to are, are populated as part of the flow, but in this case, it's just the out of the box flow. So they're not default populated. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, so I'm just gonna close this task. And now, so you can see here, the type went to manual reclamation because again, only SAM installed. 
I can go back, oops, it looks like I lost my place. So I'm gonna go back into the asset reclamation request again for Kareem. And you can see that this particular device reclamation is completed. But since, let's show, show you what else happened automatically with SAM. I'm gonna come back in here and you remember before all we had was the receive, evaluate and update asset, which we did that manually. As soon as we closed that task, it automatically triggered two more tasks and completed them itself. So you can see here the type was auto reclamation. So while the device reclamation was manual because we didn't have ham, the software pieces are automatically reclaimed. So it removed the software installs for that device and it removed the allocation for that device. Let's take a look, shall we? So I'm going to go back into the hardware asset workspace device allocations and look at that. So again, this was the one that was assigned to her. Now that device allocation is gone. So that was that uh, Visio allocation that was on this device. Um, and if we were to go back into uh, the CI real quick, we can see that there are no longer any software installation records. So if I jump back in here to the reclamation, we can see it did remove the software installs and it did remove the device allocations. So what about the user allocations? So let's go back into um, the, right back to the reclamation request and we see there is another task here for user reclamation. Now this, if we were to take a look at the flow, um, is a time sensitive trigger. So as much as I want to force this to go through and show you that yes, Kareen's um, user subscription or user entitlement for uh, Adobe Fireworks has been removed, I have to wait. Um, it's a time trigger on the flow. You have to wait 24 hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. Uh, I'm going to wait for 24 hours and then I'm going to come back and show you that, yes, in fact, Kareen's uh, user based um, entitlement was removed automatically by the system, which will then also close out the reclamation request for Kareen and having reclaimed all of those key critical entitlements for us that, that device entitlement, that user entitlement and removed all those software installs for that device. So we'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, so a day has passed. So I'm gonna log in and see what's happened to Kareem's reclamation request. So we'll take a look at the reclamation requests. We'll take a look at the one that was generated for Kareem. And now we can see that this particular task has gone from the state of new the trigger has kicked in and it's now saying pending user action. So let's take a look at this task. So we can see a bunch of different tasks have been created for the reclaim user. Um, so you can see here that it's gone through and done the revoke user license allocations. So that's close complete. So um, that other um, user subscription for fireworks should be removed. We can check that in a minute, but it's also generated um, some tasks here to, to manually go and remove SSO access, uh, any user subscriptions assigned to her and SAP access. Um, it's triggered these because I have these enabled in my instance. So it's going to check and see what I have enabled in my instance. And then it's going to, um, and trigger create tasks for man for my manual removal. This is so you don't forget to do anything. So let's quickly go and check this revoke user license allocation and make sure that that fireworks allocation for Kareen is gone. So we're going to go into our entitlements. Let's take a look for that firework. And we should go to user allocations and take a look. And yes, in fact, Kareen is no longer there. So it did remove the user allocations. Now I thought maybe I would show you the flow um, really quickly, just so you can see why some of those other tasks get created. So if I come into flows and I search for reclaim, I can see there's the software asset reclamation line flow. So you can see that there's the asset reclamation flow, right? This is kind of 
remember this is a ham and sam flow so there's different pieces of it but the one that's triggering all the tasks is the software asset reclamation line flow so let's take a peek here at this flow real quick uh, i won't spend too much time in here but it just basically goes through and it's checking to see if ham is in is state of the ham plugin right so remember i said there's different things that happen when there's ham installed and when there's not ham installed also in the parallel, it's going to be doing those are those first tasks that got created for the set, the install records on the device, right? So it's removing all those device-based install records. And then it's doing the removing the device-based allocations. So those were those first two line items that and two tasks that got generated. And then it had that trigger for the wait, right? You see it waited 24 hours. That's why I couldn't show it to you yesterday. Um, and then it goes through and does looking for any user based installation records, making sure there's nothing hiding in the software install directory for that user and it purges those and then it does the user allocation. So this was the task that removed those or the step that removed those user allocation records. And then what it does is it takes a look to see the state of the AD Azure spoke, the Octa spoke, the SAP plugin, the SAS app states and Citrix plugin. So this is where it's looking to see if they're in my instance. And if they are, it goes ahead and creates those additional tasks. So you can see here that we did have one task in our reclamation for SSO. It's a manual task to remove SSO. So it's basically looking to see if these plugins are enabled in your instance. If they are, it creates those tasks for you. Okay, so now I quickly hop back over to the asset reclamation request. And I just wanted to finish walking you through completing the reclamation request. So we're going to go into this line item that one was for the user reclamation. And we see again, this one's been closed, complete that auto part of the flow I just showed you. And we're going to go through and close these remaining tasks. Now this would involve you, you know, the user manually updating this task to offboard the employee. So it's removing the SSO access. So I'm just going to close that. Um, and then you would go through and you would re remove any kind of SaaS based user subscriptions. So I'm going to go ahead and say I did that uh, and close these, even though I haven't actually gone into those portals and done that. But this is what you would do. You would go into those portals, remove their access and then close the task. And again, SAP side of things, I'm going to go through and I'm going to close this task as well. So again, I'm just manually going through, removing the SSO access, removing any SaaS subscriptions, revoking any SAP access. So you could have these tasks assigned to the various different departments that are responsible for the management of those publisher portals. And that pretty much ends the demonstration for um, the software uh, asset reclamation. So in today's video, we discussed the reclaim asset flow for SAM. We also demonstrated how to uh, create a reclaim asset request. We walked through the different tasks on the reclamation request, and I reviewed the reclaim asset flow. For more information on this feature, you can go to the ServiceNow product documentation site and take a look for employee offboarding process for asset reclamation and create a catalog request to reclaim assets. I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you in the next one.